this one. New on the 4, Aldot says it wants to hear from you about bicycle and pedestrian paths in your neighborhood. You're invited to actually give your input during a number of upcoming public meetings on how new road projects could include pedestrians and bike paths throughout the state. Your reporter in West Alabama, Hen Brian Henry, joining us live and on your side to get us, show us how we can get involved. Well, Sarah Morgan, the McFarland Boulevard project that you see behind me is a prime example of what LDOT is talking about here in Tuscaloosa. Now, if you'll notice, driving down the boulevard to Tuscaloosa from Northport, on the right side, there is a paved path for walkers, runners, and bicyclists. This is the very thing the agency would like to do in all areas of the state, if it's financially doable and if it can be done safely construction-wise. The pedestrian and bike path on McFarland was the direct result of an LDOT sponsored community meeting. Anytime we get valuable input from the public, we try to see what we can do to enhance our roadways and that helps our planning uh, projects moving forward. And so we were able to implement that onto our 82 project. So that's fed back to Montgomery where they review it and see what's needed and then it goes back to a local level. Now that meeting is set for October 28th, that is next Monday, starting at 5 p.m. at the Aldot office on East Skyland Boulevard in Tuscaloosa. We'll include the actual address in the WBRC News app. Your reporter in Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC 6 News, on your side. It is time for weather every 